The Corblin Bible, a 3,600-year-old text that could rewrite history. The Corblin Bible, among many things, narrates the story of human creation and even mentions the existence of ancient cultures, civilizations that lived here on Earth before the arrival of Adam and Eve. It is perhaps one of the most debated ancient texts that mention the existence of highly advanced civilizations on Earth before written history. In those days, men will have the great book before them upon its return. Wisdom will be revealed. The few will be gathered for the stand. It is the hour of trial. The thoughtless ones, the south uttered, will survive. Manuscripts 310. While many people are unaware of its existence, the so-called Corblin Bible tells the story of ancient events of mankind's forgotten history. Some of the accounts were written in the Corblin Bible are said to even predict our written history, while other writings predict catalyst catalysmic events that are yet to strike the earth. The Corblin is considered to be a Bible parallel to the classical Christian Bible. It is believed to include fascinating details concerning certain passages such as the flood and exodus. The Corblin text also mentions the destroyer as a key figure in both of these events and describes numerous catalysming events to yet occur. The Corblin Bible is a collection of ancient texts hidden for centuries and preserved by alleged secretive groups for nearly 1,000 years. Now, 1,300 years, well, how did I feel? The ancient texts are said to be have been salvaged from the Glastonbury Abbey arson in 11 84 and our family tree will only go back to about that date uh, i think it was 11 80 somewhere around there we can trace it all the way back on on my irish side we can trace it back but on the other side the scottish side yes one side was scottish one side was irish and yes family gatherings were bad um yeah Okay, there. So, some even claim there is a profound connection between the ancient text and Jesus Christ. Many Bible researchers will agree the Corblin Bible is a secular anthology of at least 3,600 years old. It is said to have been written at the same time as the Old Testament. It was conceived by numerous authors, ranging from ancient Egypt to ancient Celts. Just, just as there are two parts, the Old and New Testament, the Corblin also consists of two parts, which make up a total of 11 books. The first six books of the Corblin Bible were written by ancient Egyptians, while the remaining books were pinned down by ancient Celtic priests. <clears throat> many people believe the oldest parts of the Corblin Bible were compiled after the Exodus, which, according to many scholars, occurred in the 15th century BC. It is considered by many the first Judaic Christian document, which spells out the understanding of human evolution, creatism, and intellectual design. The mathematical principles of the Corblin reflect the interesting interests of the ancient druids in astronomy, mathematics, and to speak of global catalysms of the past. The ancient text also happens to narrate the story of human creation and even mentions the existence of ancient cultures that existed on Earth before the arrival of Adam and Eve. The first part of the Corblin contains the story of a creation which is read both as religious and as scientific texts. The last two books of the Corblin are devoted to Jesus. Interestingly, these ancient documents are also called the Bronze Book or the Coal Book, describes the fallen angels mentioned in Genesis, making references to mortal men. He married the daughters of Adam and Eve, had children together. It contradicts the common belief that divine being. It contradicts the common belief that divine, divine beings in bred, interbred with moral, moral, moral humans. The Destroyer, a key figure for mankind. The Corblin Bible, twenty century, twenty first century master edition. Manuscripts, three to three. When ages pass, certain laws operate upon the stars and heavens. Their ways change. There is movement and restlessness. They are no longer constant, and a great light appears readily in the skies. Manuscripts, three to four. When the blood drops upon the earth, the destroyer will appear, and the mountains will open up and belch fire. Ashes, trees will be destroyed, and all living things engulfed. The waters will be swallowed up by the land, and the seas will boil. Manuscripts 3.6, the people will scatter in madness. They will hear the trumpet, the battle cry for the destroyer, and seek refuge within dens in the earth. Terror will eat away at their hearts, and their courage will flow from them like water from a broken pitcher. They will be eaten up in the flames of the wrath and consumed by the breath of the destroyer. Yeah. All right.
All right. Thanks for watching. Don't know if you know about that one.